Why can't anything just ever go according to plan? What's up guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Before I dive into the craziness and awfulness that has been this last week of my life, we need to unfortunately take down Christmas inside of our apartment and specifically my office right now. It is unfortunately that time of year. I hate it. It is what it is. My office is going to look completely just bare after this. So we'll see what that looks like afterwards. But before I hop into everything, let's, let's get this over with. And just like that, I have an empty office. Bronte's corner still looks better than mine for the most part, but yeah, it is empty in here now. It feels just completely off. Like it's almost like I'm moving out in a way. That's what it feels like. I do want to check in with you guys about this last week of mine and just the craziness of everything that has happened. But I said in my last vlog that I do want to start getting more sleep. It is midnight and I do need to return to work tomorrow. Unfortunately, I have been on a three week vacation and it is time to head back into the office tomorrow. So I'm sticking to my New Year's resolution. If you don't know what that's all about, you can go watch my previous video. Yeah, I'm going to go head to bed and I will sit down with you guys tomorrow after work and I will give you guys all the details about why my last week just sucked. So let's talk about these last couple of weeks. As I've mentioned in a few of my vlogs, I took three weeks off from work. I spent the first two weeks doing a hybrid of spending time with family and celebrating the holidays, but also getting some work done for my Twitch channel and my YouTube channel. And then I really wanted the last week just to be a like full on heads down. What would it be like if I was to go full time with this and just really get the experience of doing lots of streams, getting out lots of content, multiple YouTube videos up and I just really set this high expectation and I had such high hopes and of course life just never goes according to plan and it all crumbled really really fast. So before I started this last week I actually sat down with Bronte for a bit and we kind of figured out what it would actually look like if I were to go full time right now like what would be the things I would immediately start doing and we decided that realistically I would start streaming three times a week, doing it for a bit longer, and I would continue to post two YouTube videos a week, but I would also start posting daily content on platforms like Instagram and Twitter. We mapped it all out, it looked great, I was super, super excited to go execute on it, and of course, I think it was like two days into the week, I came down with a terrible cold, and it was so bad I kept waking up in the mornings, and I couldn't even really talk. I tried my best for the first couple of days, and it was alright in my first couple of streams. I think my last stream that I got in on that week was only an hour long, and on top of that, I couldn't even get out my YouTube video that I wanted to get out on Sunday. I tried sitting down and filming it, it was not going right, my brain was just in a complete fog. I tried to do an unboxing of the Go XLR that I just received, and I kind of wanted to do like a mini review of it and I was just so unhappy with it. It was not the quality that I wanted to produce. So I ended up just completely scrapping that video and because of that in combination with the bad streams and me not following through with all the daily content, I felt like everything was just falling apart this last week. Everything seems to be just so out of whack and not what I'm trying to accomplish right now. I'm really struggling with where to kind of hop back on. I feel like everything is all over the place and I just can't find a good entry point to get back on track and get back in the rhythm of things. So I think filming this right now is helping a bit, but I really want to get something in the books and say, okay, I did it. So tomorrow is my first stream back where I feel like I am more than okay to start streaming again. My voice is back. I'm just gonna try my best to get a good stream in and hopefully I will start to get the ball rolling a bit on getting back in the groove of things, but I'm derailed and I need to fix it. So let's see how the stream goes tomorrow.
Okay, so the stream is done. I feel absolutely amazing after that, I'm not gonna lie. I had a few technical difficulties because of my new Go XLR that I am testing out, so still a few things to figure out with that, but Overall, I am so happy that I got that stream in. I honestly didn't think it would affect me that much, but like I really actually do feel so much better and like my mind is in the right mindset again and I just feel like, okay, now I'm going to continue on with what needs to get done. I instantly just snapped back to being right on track, it feels like anyway, and for what it's worth, I guess the lesson learned here is kind of what I touched on yesterday. If you are completely just thrown off your game and you're in a weird slump, don't be overwhelmed by all of the tasks or things that you're trying to accomplish. Just set everything aside and focus on the very next thing that you need to do and give that your 100% and don't worry about anything else. For me personally today, even though I have a bunch of things I need to get done this week that's just overwhelming me, I focused on my one stream today and I feel so much better and I'm ready to go tackle the next thing. I'm sure by the end of this week, I'm going to feel 100% back on track and I'll be ready to continue to crush 2020. It's crazy that it's 2020, but if you guys want to continue to see content like this of what it's like to actually try and become a full-time Twitch streamer, be sure to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.